hello welcome to my page now we want to look at um, Photoshop CS6 um, some basic settings and how to generate a paper for your design now when you open your Photoshop CS6 software or application for the first time this is the interface you get how this how the interface looks like now let's familiarize ourselves with the interface this area is called the toolbox or panel tools panel tools panel then this area is called menu bar menu bar or menu panel and this area is called the option panel option panel and we have panel dock panel dock panel dock this area it's called panel dock now how do you generate a paper for the first time now before we generate a paper for the first time let's look at some small settings before we look we look at the paper selection now for us to be on the same page you have to make sure that everything all the items under your Photoshop CXs are in their default state. All the items are in their default state. And how do you get it done? You go to the menu bar, you select window, you select window. When you click on the window, you go to workspace, and then under the workspace, you will see once your mouse is on the workspace. It will take you to this area and you will see essentials default then you click on the essential default to to get all your items under their default system. this thing can also be done uh, in this way when you come to the dock panel you you, you see that um, you come to this side you you put or you you you, you place your mouse on the that small drop box arrow you click on it and then you select essential it will take you to their default state the settings in their default state now we are done with this settings the next thing is um, always make sure that um, you you click on the first item on the the first item on the two panel you click on the first item that is the move to the first item on the two balls or two panel is called the move to we use it to move items maybe the items the item is on a certain place that you are not okay with you can use the move to to place it where you think is okay for you so you click on the move to and then under when you click on the move to you see that under the option panel you see auto select and show transform controls you make sure that this auto select is ticked click on it for it to tick and then you do the same thing to show transform control you click on it to tick we will later on as we progress in our studies we will, we will see the reason why we select for it to tick now the next thing is um how to generate a paper now to generate a paper for your work you go to far and then you click on the far you come to new and click on the new now this window will pop up or interface pop up when this interface pop up you have to do your you have to queue in your size and other items that you wanted the way you want it you have to do it now before you design anything you have to get the measurement of the item that you want to design let's say you want to design a banner a flyer poster envelope or um, um, ID card whatever you want to design you have to measure the items to get their actual measurement whether it's in millimeters or centimeters or piece or whatever it is you have to make sure that you get it now you come 
to when you when you come here you see that we have a precepts with height resolution color mode background contents now for the pre for the name we will leave it as it is we will mm -hmm. not do anything to it we will not tackle it we will not do any changes or settings on it we will, it will remain as it is then you come to preset the preset you will choose whatever you want to mm -hmm. let's say i want international paper so i'll select international paper. immediately you select international paper it will take you to a4 a4 and the width it comes with its own width and height the resolution when you are using it for printing you make sure that it is 300 resolution should be 300 but when you are using it for social media and others then you can choose um or you can keep in 72 not less than 72 the color mode will maintain rgb 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 color mode that is what you always select select always select rgb color mode and then you click ok our paper is generated so now we can work on this paper we can start with our design now another way to generate your paper is you press ctrl plus key on your keyboard ctrl plus ctrl plus n sorry ctrl plus n on your keyboard ctrl plus n now this interface will pop up when it pop ups you do your settings now for those who have been designing uh, items for social media normally they are worth so this time we are not doing anything to the internet uh, the preset and the size we will not do anything to it the only thing that we will tackle on is uh, the width the width is too one zero we are maintaining two one zero because we are designing the item for social media that's whatsapp facebook twitter and other uh, social media and the height you have to also maintain you have to select two one zero two one zero so you delete this one you click on it you use the backspace to delete you, you, you click to delete and then you you key in two one zero now immediately you key in the 210 so we have the, the is, is the width and the height to be 210 by 210 that is in millimeters it's in millimeters uh, the, the 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 measurement we have pixel inches centimeters millimeters it depends on what you want so i'm using millimeters for now so immediately you kill in this you see that the size there will be nothing there because it was not generated by the system you did it and the preset will change to custom and the color mode i said we are maintaining or we will choose rgb rgb then the background is white uh, the content is background content is white when you change it, this one will also change to the color you selected and then when you are done with this settings you click ok so now we have our paper to work on please don't forget to subscribe to my page